am convinced that human life is filled with many pure, happy, serene examples of insincerity, truly splendid of their kind of people, deceiving one another without, strangely enough, any wounds being inflicted, of people who seem unaware even that they are deceiving one another. Victims. Victims of a transitional period of morality. That is what we both certainly are. The weak fear happiness itself. They can harm themselves on cotton wool. Sometimes they are wounded even by happiness. What frightened me was the logic of the world. In it lay the foretaste of something incalculably powerful. Its mechanism was incomprehensible and I could not possibly remain closeted in that windowless, bone-chilling room. Though, outside, lay the sea of irrationality. It was far more agreeable to swim in its waters until, presently, I drowned. But happiness is being able to hope, however faintly, for happiness. So, at least, we must believe if we are to live in the world of today. All I feel are the assaults of apprehension and terror at the thought that I am the only one who is entirely unlike the rest. It is almost impossible for me to converse with other people. What should I talk about? How should I say it? I don't know. When I pretended to be precocious, people started the rumor that I was precocious. When I acted like an idler, rumor had it I was an idler. When I pretended I couldn't write a novel, people said I couldn't write. When I acted like a liar, they called me a liar. When I acted like a rich man, they started the rumor I was rich. When I feigned indifference, they classified me as the indifferent Suffering. The world is out of joint. Virtue and vice are concepts invented by human beings. Words for a morality which human beings arbitrarily devised. I was shook with fright before human beings. Able as I was to feel the least particle of confidence in my ability to speak and act like a human being. I kept my melancholy and my agitation hidden, careful lest any trace should be left exposed. I feigned an innocent optimism. I gradually perfected myself in the role of a farcical eccentric. <laughs>